name is Birdman, and today we are talking about compositing, more specifically color corrections. Because let me tell you, just in general, there's so many ways to deal with colors in compositing. May it be Nuke, After Effects, Harmony, or anything. So today I'm going to show you some little examples of nodes that you can use to do color correction, and we will explore some of them. Not all of them, because you know, I don't have five hours. But hey, we have a very good documentation that you should look at. So I'm gonna tell you they exist, and then it's up to you to research them a little bit. So whenever I do compositing, there are some that I really like to use. And oh, why are you here? You're a double. I already had a color curve. Please go away. Ah, uh, now I have an uneven number. Oh well. So when I do compositing, uh, one thing that I really like to use is the color scale, just because it is very easy uh, to use, and uh, it's a great introduction node to get accustomed to. So I'm gonna take it, connect it here between my uh, final composite of my character and, you know, the composite of the scene. And I'm going to use it. Of course, it's a compositing node. You need to be in render view for you to see it. So open gel, render view. So if I click on my yellow square and I get my little effect here, I will be able to play with them. So basically the color scale tells you how strong are each of these features. So if they're to one, they are like basic. But if I ever take blue and I set it to like, I don't know, two, it means that blue will now be more strong than my other colors. So sometimes if you wanna do some quick color corrections, a great thing to do is, is kind of think, okay, if I do blue 1.4 uh, and I remove, uh, it means that my blue is 0 0.4 stronger. So if I take that, 0.4 and I subtract it from my other colors, you get some interesting result. So then my red, I will put it to 0.8 and my green also to 0.8. So then this made my character a bit more purple because then I added more blue and I removed red and green. So the fact that you can add and remove and really see it really helped me back when I was a little thing, learning compositing on my own. Um, I really like the fact that I could kind of see the numbers and organize them um, and stuff. So it's a very, very easy node to play with. And of course, if I set this to two and all the other ones to zero, then I don't see much other things than blue. But hey, maybe that's what you want. And you can also play with the alpha there and you can play with the hue and stuff. So it's a very, very cool little node to play with. So this one is color scale. Very great for night ambience. Uh, then you have color levels. Color levels, and like in any other software, it's gonna allow you to play with the different levels of your RGB as a whole, and also uh, independently each of the little colors. Then you have color curves, which again, like any other software, gives you a great curve that you can use to play either with your RGB as a whole or to play with the different channels on their own. So if, for example, I take my RGB and I change it like this, then it's easy to kind of burn in your colors and uh, give them a more saturated or um, desaturated look like that so it's very very easy to play with and very useful i know lately i had to like i did a little scene with a good sunset and i did find use into this color curve uh, node to kind of burn my color a little bit like that so give them a lot of warmth and uh, a lot of character so um yeah and i'm sorry i'm keeping these very vague but it's meant to be more of an introduction videos for those of you who have no idea what any of that color correcting stuff mean. I just want to tell you what like these things exist. But I strongly recommend you diving into maybe other uh, tutorials that are really going to dive into like what is a color curve. Like this is not the purpose of my tutorial. I'm just showing you there's a color curve node, but you should make your own research. We also have channel selector that is very useful. Uh, this will allow you to see um, either of these channels. It's not so much for color correction of your scene, but if you're using different effects, such as maybe a um, surface map, which if you look at my other video, a surface map is going to give you values of red, green, and blue in your characters to put like 3D lights on them. Well, you can use the channel selector to just see one of these colors, so it becomes really uh, useful for your character. Um, I also use it a lot to kind of remove the alpha channel of some things or allow it to remove it, so very useful. Uh, channel selector and then here you have the classics hue and saturation and you also have brightness and contrast which you know is gonna make your things more bright or more contrasted or less contrasted and more dim and then you have the gamma node that is going to allow you to play with your gamma um, I hope you enjoyed and that you're gonna find use in these little notes 
and um, yeah, have fun. <laughs> and don't forget to check out the duck for each of these nodes because there's more detail. It's just that I have five minutes to show you these things. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.